welcome to itsp technologies so my name is vivek so i am going to start new series uh, related to microservices so it's two more demanding topic microservice with the spring boot i will take hardly 10 to 11 sessions to complete the microservices so how to develop the microservices why we need and what is the architecture? So today's agenda is just, so this is the architecture of microservices, like the, developing a service registry, admin server, Jipkin server, Vicant server, API, like the REST API, which your applications, API gateway, Fink client, Fink client for that intercommunication, config server for uh, separating the properties file, Apache Kafka for sending one message to another microservice, Redis cache to caching your repeating uh, APIs and Docker. After that, I will Docker that application, right? Why I'm taking this session microservices, one more thing. I will just, I have uh, taught you related to in that uh, sessions, I will show you that's why I'm taking in the docker just i uh, uh, just deploy one application like up to this i have completed in the in the docker up to this is the docker compose file i need to deploy multiple uh, microservices also so that's why i need to i need to deploy that i need to teach you uh, microservices first then after that i will deploy that application in that Okay, so now, so this is total agenda hour, 10 to 50, 10 to 11 session, I will take hardly. If you more than that, it's okay, it's fine to you, I think so. So today's topic is microservice, guys. So this is our topic, guys, today's. So microservices and monolithic applications. So previously we have a monolithic application where we have everything in a single unit like interface we have business logic we have and data access layer also we have in the single single unit of applications so here what is that drawbacks we are facing like when we are changing anything in that any layer like your user interface your application will be affected is totally affected okay when you try to change anything in the business logic then you need to change all this required thing you need to check like user interface also you need to check and business logic having the different different things like the payment service uh, uh, add service, transfer service, booking service, like that different, different microservices, different, different services we have in that business logic. Okay, how you can uh, write. Okay, how you can uh, like take a, you need to take care about all these things, then you can change that any logic in that monolithic application. So that's why if you try to change anything, you should take care about this user interface also and existing functionality inside this, uh, some other microservices also, and you take care about this data access layers. You need to take care about all these things when you have monolithic application. So these are working in the previous old days, but if they are taking a more time suppose you need to develop one feature in this monolithic application you need to uh, first you need to identify that where we to start and if you're trying to start you need to like you develop one new features in this microservices and you need to deploy your application you need to redeploy all this application in again in our uh, production servers okay some is happening in that production server then your application goes down then client will give you complaints to you hey what are you doing man i am giving a money to you and you are doing some some bullshit for me that my application is not working so some more challenges are there inside this i'm just i will i'm explaining my i have wrote some topics here okay don't worry 
so so these are challenges which are facing other people so after that uh, after that monolithics we come into the picture microservice architectures microservice architecture nothing but we separated we separated the uh, uh, small small uh, business into a microservice right small small projects we separated suppose in this having four uh, services like e commerce side we have na bank application like banking and adding to the bank and uh, transfer the money okay and add to card add to card okay we have multiple services so that services i need to taking as a one application as a micro services is a small unit having only micro services having one responsibility it is not taking another responsibility okay it's a stand alone deployable applications if you deploy this this should be work it's not depending on that another micro services this is beauty of micro services micro services is not depending to another micro services micro services is a stand alone like stand alone it's doing all this thing i like it's a okay so this is the micro services and micro services having that uh, different different database also if you require if you not require then you can use one database also it's your uh, requirement it depends on your requirement so this is the load so this is the architecture uh next session i will discuss and so just today we are just discussing about monolithic and other things okay so now we have a monolithic here here we have some small small points develop all functionality in a single app right we have a monolithic application we are developing all functionality in a single application application will package on one fat jars like fat jar means is the big jars is like 800 like 800 like 1 gb and 2 gb of jars will be uh, make it it's make it okay why because it's a fat jar because all this libraries and all this is required out there so app will be deployed in a single server you cannot deploy this server in the multiple servers okay but say this advantage we have okay. monolithic architecture like that single point of failure if this is the big advantage advantage if in that application in that application if one failure is there inside the business logic if one failure is there inside the business logic then your application goes down total application goes down okay redeploy entire application and again you need to redeploy that if you this fail again then fix that then again you can deploy all this application so now maintenance of that app is two months okay what an of the server it's increasing then after that come into that micro services into the pictures so in the micro services is the not a technology not a framework not a api okay it's a net architectural design it's what is that it's architectural design got it it's any microservice pattern is there you are getting like that not not it's just like architectural design like if we have 10 re, uh, business requirement you can de develop a 10 microservices right if you have in five suppose five you can five de develop a five microservices and deploy in the server okay they can access easily right this meaning okay micro service design pattern is universal it's not a, a like universal means you can uh, use a registry server also you can use admin server jipkin server these are optional these server are optional not required not mandatory okay not mandatory to use it this is the meaning the main aim of micro services is to develop app is loosely coupling what is that loosely coupling guys loosely coupling means it's depending to use this this microservices 
suppose i need this microservices only okay so you can go and deploy this microservice inside this that's it the user can access this microservices easily so it is not depending to other microservices so that's why it's loosely coupled loosely coupling so microservices based application means collection of rest apis what is that rest api here so these are having rest api also collection of rest api it, this microservice having multiple rest apis this microservice are having rest multiple apis okay microservices mean indep independently deployable and executable service like here i just giving to you example i can deploy this application and i can run this application in the practical i will show you don't worry okay so there i can understand the theory point of view you can understand so these are the microservices so now just i am shoot out point of just i want to shoot out with you so just uh, revise one one more time so microservices is nothing but uh, the universal design pattern right this is not a strictly design pattern you should use this then you can achieve the microservices like that no if you having one requirement if you having one functionality you need to develop one microservices then you deploy that microservice in your server and give to that rest api to your user user that use it that's it this is the you can achieve a microservices not required to use admin server registry servers and jipkin servers okay not required api gateway not required okay so it's a independently deployable it is meaning it's a collection of rest api that's it it's loosely coupling it's not depending to each other so now advantage what is that advantage is the microservice lot of advantages loosely coupled okay easy maintenance suppose here this microservices is failing this user is using this microservices and one app what is that one bug they find in this okay then they report to you hey developer i found one bug in this microservices can you please fix it okay these these other microservices is working fine okay these microservices is working fine you can fix this issue in the so what developer is do what developer is do developer go and check all the microservices no developer go and check this microservices and fix this issue then redeploy the microservices developer touch any other microservices deployment no these are running inside the server perfectly so they just the developer only take care about this microservices redeploy fix this and redeploy this that's it this is the easy of that so load will be distributed okay so that meaning load will be distributed by because we have multiple microservices you can deploy with that different different services the load balancer will distribute that your traffic right technology independently means suppose this i want to develop this microservices as a uh, java using java and i want to develop this microservices using uh, like uh, python any language you can check you can use it not required why because they are not interacting to each other na? they are not interacting to each other they are just independently working right high availability disadvantage bonded context means bonded context deciding number of rest apis to develop so this is the bounded context like deciding a number of apis how many apis we should develop okay we cannot develop unlimited of apis inside that one microservices okay we should decide which microservice we should develop duplicate configuration why we go duplicate suppose i need to configure one server inside that one microservices then same server i need to configure in another microservices in the puppetry file so we need to use that so visibility issue visibility means like suppose in the project in the real time developer are using multiple uh, microservices 
and different different microservices. They are not giving to all project to use. You can see that they are just giving one microservices, work on it, and send that complete task to that product. Okay. So this is that meaning. So microservices architecture, there is no standard architecture, as I said to you, microservice development. These are first we need to uh, develop registry, service registry, admin server, GPKIN server. And what is all these things in the next video, I will take care. Okay. The backend services, which REST API you need to develop, API gateway. For that, this is the gate kind of thing. By using this gate, you can go and access the thin client communication configuration like separating the properties file from our project apache kafka sending one message to another uh, what is that another microservice and service registry register all the microservices in the side the service registry admin server it is just a uh, like actuator Actuator, it's suppose we have a multiple microservices, okay, like 10 microservices. We need to uh, go and uh, use that every microservice actuator. No, no. so we need to uh, use one admin server, and that admin server will take care of, of all the microservice actuators like health, info, all this thing. And Jirkin server is the distributed tracing, like. When the request is come, how much time it will take, and what is the memory congestion, how much thread dump, all these things is it take care of all this. Okay, this is all. So next video I will talk to you. So here also some points I have written to you. So you can uh, go through that. So when you to use the monolithic application, this is very, very important. Guys. Simple application with the well-defined requirement. If you have well-defined requirement, then you can go through. Limited development teams with the focus on the rapid development. Okay. Application with the predictable workloads. Okay. Alternative the monolithic is nothing but architecture. And advantage, disadvantage is there. When to use microservice? Complex application continuously evaluation requirements. Suppose we need a, a continuously change that application, then we should use the microservices. Large development team may need needing faster development and release cycles. Okay. Suppose I need to develop these features, I need to release this. So just use microservices. So application uh, with that high scalability need to be that antecepted significant growth like right? that scalability also. So I think some clarity you got it. You can read this. This is the simple, simple point I have got it. Same, same, same. But because I just this is the sort form I am writing. And this is the total definitions which are available. It's the same point, same thing. Okay. You can teach, you can learn anywhere the microservices. Microservices are same. Okay, same thing they are teaching. Okay, I think it's got up to you guys. So thank you. We will meet next session, and I will upload this note on GitHub. Oh, sorry, not a GitHub. Uh, what is that? In Facebook. Cool. Oh, okay. Watch the next video. Next video, I will explain all this point. Like, what is the service registry, admin server, how the architecture is design okay the diagram i will apply so thank you we will meet next session